Welcome to Motorcycle Insider. My name is Tristan, and this is your destination for information from inside the power sports industry, reviews, first rides, buyer's guides, and anything else you'll need to make an informed decision. If you like what you see here, please subscribe and share with your friends. Thank you for tuning in, and as always, ride safe out there. What's going on, guys? I'm coming to you live. Not really live. Just kidding. It's live to me. Uh, on a 2019 Hayabusa, baby. <laughs> this is actually a customer of mine's bike. I just sold it to him. Uh, he asked me to go take it for a ride, make sure everything's all high and tight. Uh, which I will gladly do. He said, he said run it through all the gears. I was like, uh, bro, I don't think you want me to run it through all the gears. <laughs> like, that's not a good thing to tell me to do. So, yeah, man, just take that high boost and go put it in sixth gear for me. No, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> I will go take it on the interstate, though. Just uh, do a little hot lap here. I'm sure everything's fine. I wasn't going to tell the guy no. Uh, obviously, because why not? Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, it's a pretty, pretty brand new bike. I mean, there's like 600 miles on it, or 800, 800 miles on it, 821. Um, the guy that traded it in did the break-in service, so it's a, it's really just a, a, a brand new bike that's been broken in already, so that's kind of nice. Guy's getting, a, that was a little jumpy. Guy's getting a good buy, for sure, for sure. I honestly... Hayabusa's get a lot of hate, but I do like the way they ride. I mean, a lot of power too. You definitely can't hate that. <laughs> Gotta love it. A little down on technology though. That's my only thing, you know. A bike at this price point, you know, I'm expecting you know, a whole slew of rider aids. I want an IMU. I want a quick shifter. Uh, quick shifter is the biggest thing, you know. I uh, I've ridden a lot of big powerful bikes that don't have it and I've ridden a lot that do have it and uh, good lord I mean that is something that is really really good to have because uh, it just makes your life a lot easier when you're banging up through the gears I mean you're always going to get a good pull and especially on something like this that people are going to be drag racing probably um, that's definitely a really good thing to have but uh, really no complaints about this bike. I mean, other than the obvious, it's got a really long wheelbase. Uh, it's a pretty big bike, pretty heavy, uh, you know, for a sport bike, right? You know, by uh, overall standards, it's obviously not as heavy as a Goldwing. It's not as heavy as a Harley, uh, you know, Street Glide, something like that, right? Uh, pretty heavy by sport bike standards. I think we're, we're somewhere in the high fives. Uh, I could be wrong. I haven't looked. Uh, you know, your, your R1, you know, 1,000cc Super Sport in the low fours uh you know some big power bikes are even a little into the threes um, your typical leader bike is not though uh, maybe one day that would be pretty nice to ride a leader bike weigh 350 pounds uh that would be pretty sweet uh this thing is mint too i mean it's black and there's not a scratch on it i don't even really want to touch it because uh, it is in such good shape I'd hate to be the one that scratches it. <laughs> and I'm definitely going to take it easy here, guys, because not only is this not my bike, but it's my deal. So uh, if I dump this bike, that's really going to cost me money because then I lose the deal and I have to pay to fix it. So let's not even speak that into existence. We're going to take it easy. Uh, <laughs> I will do a little pull. Little pull, though. Emphasis on little. I mean, for a Hayabusa, a little pull is still pretty fast. But uh, <laughs> we're going to try to... I'm going to try to keep it under, wrap, under wraps. I mean, all the Hayabusa naysayers, NZX14, whatever, you know, it's a big long bike, and it's a heavier bike, but it's got a lot of power. So, you know, it uh, it, it moves its weight. And it, it is a, a, a nimble bike, especially for what it is. I mean... You know, I'm having no problem leaning this thing over. I mean, it's... Like, look at that. I'm flicking the heck out of this thing, and that's still pretty easy. It's obviously not as responsive as a, as a, a regular Super Sport would be. Um, and it's really not that it's a response issue. It's a wheelbase thing, you know? So, 
it really just all has to do with the wheelbase. under the strain on my back um, I don't have to really force myself down um, so yeah really really nice actually uh, body position is not as aggressive as a super sport either not by a long shot actually really really good riding bike guys I'm thoroughly impressed actually I understand I understand why people like them you know I understand the face value of it you know hey drag bike super fast straight line right uh, but then after you ride it too I understand why people keep them uh, you know there's a lot of things that can make you buy a bike uh, and it's a shorter list of things that are gonna make you keep a bike so uh, actually I, I, I get it you know and I kind of <laughs> I kind of want a Hayabusa just for the memes just for the jokes <laughs> you know what I mean just so I can make Typical Hayabusa jokes. <laughs> Just want a cheap one. Let's go buy like a $3,000 clapped out Hayabusa. I'm not going to buy a brand new one, obviously, because I don't want it that bad. Um, but yeah, really good all-around bike. I can see doing a, a, a lot of distance on this. I mean, I feel like a ride from here to Daytona or here to Tampa would really not be a big deal. Um, the body position is actually very comfortable. Um, you have to be used to a super sport ergonomic because that's the closest thing you can equate it to. Um, but yeah, a lot more relaxed. Bars are a little higher. Uh, seats not, you know, quite so high. Uh, your knees are crunched up a little bit, right? Uh, not a lot of leg room, but that's to be expected on something, uh, you know, like this. But yeah, I'm actually really impressed with this bike. It's, it's not bad at all. I'd like to go ride it for some distance, uh, but I'm not going to go put a bunch of miles on it. And it is a work day. I'm actually, I'm at work right now. <laughs> this is my job, guys. Welcome to my office. <laughs> oh, man. Gotta love it. That's, that's how I should start the videos. Hey, guys. Welcome to my office. <laughs> We're here. My office today is a... Uh, 2019 Hayabusa GSX-S uh, GSX-1300R yeah, I'm thinking GSX-S because we have a 1000S a model at the shop the naked the naked Jigsaw, for lack of a better term uh, but yeah this thing puts, puts right along I mean that's a fourth gear roll on going really slow uh, and that actually got me moving pretty quick not bad. A lot of super sport inline four type motorcycles really just fail to impress me a lot of times. Because uh, I'm about the torque. I'm about the zero to 60. I'm about the light to light. The top speed thing, I'm, I'm, I'm over that. I, I don't know if I grew out of it or if maybe I just got a little smarter. Uh, but doing, you know, 200 down the highway doesn't really do anything for me. Because um, I like the torque, and you know, on bikes like this, you know, big inline fours, uh, they're horsepower predominant. They're not torque predominant. So I like having that punch. You know, when I when I did that roll on on the interstate, I was actually expecting it to kick me a lot harder than it did, uh, because it's just it's not a torque thing. It's a horsepower thing. So until it got up in the higher revs, 
uh, it wasn't really feeling like it was pulling very hard. I mean, obviously it is. It's not a slow bike, but it's not uh, it's not super torquey. I mean, it is, right? But, you know, in relation to the horsepower, it's not very torquey. Uh, so, you know, coming off my 701, uh, you know, it's a 300-ish pound bike, low threes, 319 curb weight, uh, and it has 54 foot-pounds of torque, and that's about what a 636 Ninja has. Uh, so I'm used to kicking the pants, you know, single-cylinder torque, and when it doesn't do that for me, I go, man, why is this thing so slow? <laughs> you know, you just got to give it a little bit of thought, though. There's more that goes into it than just, you know, a power number and a weight number. Power to weight ratio is a big part of things, but the characteristic of your engine is huge as well. So, you know, something like this that's top end, if I would have downshifted uh, and rolled on in second, uh, we would have been probably doing a wheelie. <laughs> and that's not something I want to do on this bike, so... Uh, yeah, <laughs> you can trust me. You can. I've had a ZX14 come up on me in third gear, uh, and it was actually really easy. So <laughs> I was really impressed with the ZX14 too. Same same type of bike, same type of thing. You know, uh, horsepower predominant, big displacement in line four, long wheelbase, uh, and 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 it felt the same way uh, that this did as far as handling goes. I'd have to do them uh, side by side, you know, in the same day to uh, really give you a comparison between the two. Obviously, the ZX-14 is faster. Uh, the bike that dethroned uh, the Hayabusa is the fastest production motorcycle. Um, and then, you know, Cowie kind of dethroned themselves with the H2. Uh, <laughs> they they won up themselves. But, uh, yeah, 2019 Hayabusa. Can't really think of much more to say. Uh, other than, you know, it's, it's, it's not what people make it out to be it's not what the naysayers make it out to be it is actually a really really good bike now i think it's due for an update stupid square mirrors uh you know analog tachometer which i do like that i don't dislike it uh but in the uh the era of tft displays on motorcycles and touch screens and things like that uh it needs an update uh styling uh you know if it, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. I get that, but it could use some sharper lines. A little too round for my liking. You can see they kind of sharpened up the Gen 2 from the Gen 1. Uh, but I'm uh, I'm waiting on a Gen 3 Busa. Where is it at, Suzuki? Give me that, that Busa Gen 3 with some sharp lines. Maybe 1400cc. Give Cowie a run for their money. I'd like to see that. But yeah, overall, really good riding bike. I'm actually really, really impressed with it. I mean, the flickability is actually phenomenal considering the weight in the wheelbase. Um, it is really not bad. And, and I know I keep saying that, but I'm just, I expected it to be so bad. I expected sluggish. I expected lethargic. Uh, and it's not that. And the suspension's actually really good too. I actually don't have any complaints about the suspension, which I figured I would. Um, I know a lot of Suzuki's are plagued by poor suspension, uh, and this isn't that. This is actually pretty darn good. Uh, and man, I look cool in that reflection, I'll tell you what. <laughs> but, uh, wow. Impressive. It's kind of hot today, guys. I'm slowly regretting the leather jacket. Um, <laughs> I know I won't when I need it, but... It's a little warm. Your Azuzu Rodeo sounds like crap. <laughs> Get out of my way. to move on let's go Ooh, a little aggressive on that uh, rev match there hard to get used to it does rev up pretty quickly 
I do really like this bike actually. Definitely wouldn't get it in black. It looks super hot, all murdered out, but uh, <laughs> leather jacket, helmet, leather shoes, and a black bike. Uh, <laughs> Florida summer. I'm, uh, I'm afraid I'm out on that one, folks. Well, thanks for watching, y'all. Uh, I'm doing a giveaway. Uh, this is the first time I'm breaching that subject verbally on video. Uh, I'm uh, hunting for a thousand subscribers, a thousand lucky folks to uh, enter the chance to win a new Rurock Atlas 2.0 uh, hard hat. So uh, subscribe, that's all you guys have to do to enter. When we hit 1,000 subscribers, I will give away the helmet. I'll contact, uh, I'll contact the winner to ask about sizing and uh, I'll send you out a new helmet. So don't forget to subscribe uh, for the chance to win that Atlas 2.0 helmet. Thanks for watching, y'all see you next time.